Well, I thought I'd give you a bit of an introduction to my electric tricycle. Okay. Who I've named Dorothy. Now, a few uh, maybe just technical type of things to maybe of interest to you. Now, its power source is a, a lithium battery, which is situated under the basket at the rear, down here. Um, it has a, a life of about, well, I'm, I, reach, I charge mine up about every 10 days, but it's good for about 65 kilometers. And uh, so you've got some control. You can see there, that is where you can check your battery level. It's completely removable, so you can take it out and charge it with the adapter from your, from your mains. So um, now the general frame of the bike is designed and made here in Italy with the electrics all made in Germany. It has caliper brakes on the front. It has disc brake on the rear. The drive is obviously from the rear, from the far wheel. This here is a freewheeling hub, this one. The power unit comes from a 35 watt brushless motor, which is situated on the front wheel. This, um, so you can see, it's not the, the bicycle has been pushed along, it's actually dragged along by this motor unit here. Now, up here are the controls featured up here for the electrics and over here is for the manual gears. It has six manual gears which can be used at any given time and here with the electrics it has the button A, as you can see, starts you off at a walking pace. And then as you push, say, the plus button, these lights on this side will light up and gives you different rates of speed. Now its top speed is actually 25 kilometers an hour, which is more than I need around Florence. And I normally have it on either the third speed, which is more than manageable. And I normally leave my um, gear on the gear of six, because it's all flat around Florence, but if I get onto a hill, I can cut, I usually cut it back down to about gear number three. So uh, that uh, between the two. Now, the speed comes in when you engage, the pedals, you do have to pedal it, it will not freewheel. So as soon as you, you start off with the A and then as you pedal, the motor will automatically engage and pull you along. So it, it depends on what speed you've set it out here, is when the gear, well, the gear, the motor I mean will engage and off you go. Um, I've got two camera mounts on the front here which I put one of a GoPro style movie camera and the, I also can attach my Canon G12. So generally, all in all, it has actually been such a boon to me. I've got a large capacity basket on the back which I can um, carry quite a bit of gear in. Um, I can also, I also lay a board across it with the padding straight across like Across this way, a board, and um, as I said, with padding on, and so I can have a passenger sitting on the back, which can easily carry around with me. So, it is actually quite a remarkable machine. Um, I have, I've gone all sorts of places on it, and I'm more than pleased. The people where I bought it from, which is called Shop Planet Punta It or Shop Planet 
point out at Italy, um, you can mostly look up on the internet. The, the other contact is a, through a firm here in Rimini, in Florence, in, I mean in Italy, and it's called Tutto Garden. It is T U T T O Garden. You can do an, um, a Google search on that or an internet search, you'll certainly find them. Their service is absolutely spectacular. Um, it's got a straight up guarantee of, of uh, a year. But um, I've had a couple of minor problems, and the firm Tutor Garden has rectified them immediately. So I hope you've enjoyed looking over at the vital statistics of, of, uh, of Dorothy. She's, uh... Oh, the other thing was, is the lights back front and rear are uh, battery powered and they normally last me up to about two months so uh, there's no problems there so there you go a sweet convenient and willing Dorothy